Northampton's Market Square is reputed to be the second largest in England and on market days, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday and Saturday, is a busy trading centre. Its existence dates from 1235 when Henry III ordered that the selling of goods in All Saints Churchyard should stop and move to the position of the Market Square. The three main shopping areas, the Grosvenor Centre, Peacock Place and Abington Street, all lead off from the Market Square. Despite demolition in recent years, there still remain several interesting and historical buildings around the square. Perhaps the most distinguished is the Welsh House, now the home of Church's China Store and standing next to the Grosvenor Shopping Centre. This is Welsh House in 1831 when it accommodated the offices of the Northampton Herald. The house was one of the few town centre properties to escape the Great Fire of 1675. And here is a view in 72 showing Welsh House without the original gables. On the left is Newland, now the Market Square entrance to the Grosvenor Centre. The building was first acquired in 1594 by an Anglesey lawyer and a former local rector for the sum of £80. Having rebuilt the property, the new owner Dr. William Pryperch added coats of arms and the Welsh motto. On the first floor level we find four shields. These represent the famous Welsh dragon, the shield of the Wake family of Courtine Hall, the arms of William Pryperch and a fourth shield which represents an unknown family and shows three bars of ermine. The facade and motto also include the date 1595 and the initials WEP. These are the initials of the first of Dr. William Pryperch's three wives, Elizabeth. The motto itself stands for without God, without anything, with God, enough. Next to the Welsh House is Beethoven House, built in the 17th century and once a music school. It has a superb Gothic Oriel window. On the outside wall of the building opposite the Welsh House is a circular plaque informing the reader that the previous building was once the home of the Northampton Mercury, which was founded in 1720 and the paper printed here from 1730 till 1978. Further down the east side of the square you reach the new Peacock Place shopping centre, now built on the site of the old Peacock Hotel. It was 11 bays wide with a top cornice of upright acanthus leaves and was continuously added to over the years. The main entrance led into an inner courtyard with balconies. It's a pity that this former coaching inn closed in 1956 and then came under the Developers Acts in 1960. It was first replaced by the Peacock Shopping Arcade and then in 1988 by the new Peacock Centre. The sports shop on the corner of Abington Street has a plaque high up on the building dated 1677 which indicates that it was one of the first houses to be built after the Great Fire of 1675. Walking across the southern end of the square we come across impressively decorated buildings occupied by estate agents. Both buildings are of late 17th century architecture with Drury Chambers, the Halifax Building Society, looking very ornate with its giant upper pilasters and decorated windows. As we proceed along the western side of the market square, we can stop to look at the view of the north side and try to imagine the magnificent array of old shops that once occupied this promenade. Throughout its history it's been known as the Parade and was once dominated for 70 years by the Emporium Arcade, built in 1901, designed by local architects Mosley and Shrivener and home for nearly 50 shops, offices and a gymnasium. It's doubtful if any one event caused such controversy as the demise of the Emporium Arcade. There was a Save the Arcade crusade with a petition of over 10,000 signatures. The public inquiry was held, letters to the press flooded in, councillors were lobbied and MPs consulted. A deputation went to the Department of the Environment and even the National Victorian Society took the matter up, all to no avail. Now Boots the Chemist dominates the site. This was the Emporium in 1972 and in 1973 it had been demolished to make way for the new Grosvenor Centre. The 
The passage at the side of the centre leads through to the bus station, Sheep Street and the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. Crossing under the Greyfriars and Ladies Lane roads we come to the Greyfriars bus station. It was built in the mid 1970s and is named after the religious order of Greyfriars or Franciscans who established a small settlement here during the 13th century.